So last video I did a quick intro on how to change the purge lines because the standard one was bugging me on the end of 3's textured bed. But then I got thinking. And then I made this. It's basically just a quick page that generates the start G code for Cura automatically based on the options you choose. The link is in the description if you want to try it, but don't rush off until I've finished telling you about it. So you could change the length of the line, the number of back and forth repeats, the extrusion rate to make the line thicker or thinner, how high the head is, which seems to help with removing it afterwards, that was my first reason for going down this route, and a few other parameters as well. There's even the ability to keep drawing without extruding, because I think it might help for TPU to allow the purge line's pressure to equalise before you begin printing. If you want a purge line on the right side of the bed, no problem. You want the purge line at the back of the bed, also no problem. You could specify any start location on the bed if you want. I would suggest at least starting with the default options, especially with PLA. If you're using TPU, then I would turn down the extrusion rate and the speed maybe. Once you click Submit, just cut and paste the code in its entirety to replace your Start G-Code section in Cura. Everything should be there, at least for the end of 3. If you need help finding this section to do this, it's just under the Settings, Printer, Manage Printers menu, then click Machine Settings for the Active Printer. Out of an abundance of caution, I would advise you also copy your existing settings into a text file or something as a backup, but honestly, if you have an Ender 3, the start code is likely to already be pretty similar to my generator's defaults, because I based it on the default Ender 3 profile to start with. And this is the point where I insert a disclaimer. This tool does have a bit of basic sense checking in it, but it's definitely down to you to put sensible numbers in. I've checked the defaults on the end of 3, but if you wander outside of them, then because you're dealing with raw G-code and printers, uh, it's well known that printers have no checks or safety overrides and you could damage your printer if you ask it to do something stupid that it isn't supposed to do. I think the likelihood of any problems is low, but the disclaimer remains anyway. I spent about a day on this so far, so it's not the most complicated thing in the world yet, but I have already got plenty of ideas of how I'm going to expand it. Uh, I'll probably make it look nicer too, but we'll we'll see on that one. If you're thinking, does this work with Prusa Slicer? Well, I don't know yet. Either it does, or it doesn't. And in the latter case, I'll be aiming to add support to that as things proceed. But I can't initially see any good reason why it wouldn't work with any slicer, since it's just tagged onto the beginning of the G-code file before the main bulk of the file. To the point where if you open any G-code file in Notepad, you will see exactly this at the beginning, including all the comments. So let me know if you try it out, and most importantly, let me know if you want it to do anything that it doesn't currently do, because it's pretty easy for me to write PHP code, it's kind of my thing. I'll do my best to implement any sensible suggestions, so long as they're not too hard to implement mathematically. One idea I do have at the moment is to include a very basic level checking pattern for the bed around the edges. I think it would be quite cool to, to have that on every print, just to see whether the bed is basically level before you even start. But, um, yeah, anything else, write it in the comments. As always, if you found this useful, then please like, and if you're into this kind of thing, then please subscribe, because there's plenty more on its way. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. <laughs>